What's going on everybody, it's Zach Mo here. And today we're gonna be flipping this splice loop and creating a brand new beat out of it. So if you guys do enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe and check out elizabethrecords.net. So let's go ahead and listen to a bit of the sample that I chose. And then we're gonna end up flipping it and changing it quite a bit. Cause that's what I like to do a lot of the times when I get samples, I like to go ahead and change them just play around with different speeds and pitch and different effects and stuff like that and create something a bit more unique. So let's just listen to what we got so far. Oh, it's cool. I put it in double time. It's usually 100 BPM. I made it 200, but we're gonna end up slowing it. We're gonna put it to like 160 maybe. Yeah. I have the Melodyne video right here. It's still not the speed I want. I want a half time. Like that. We're going to pitch it up four. One, two, three, four. Now it's in G sharp. Line. That's the vibe I want to go for. Just something very like moody. Let's get started on some drums. Put our snares in here. Start on trying to find like a nice sounding 808 pattern. Now, by having the Melodyne MIDI, it makes it a little bit easier to actually create like a pattern that sounds good. on the arrangement like when it comes to flipping this one we just put some half time on it pitched it up a bit and changed the tempo like sometimes you don't have to do as much sometimes i do like layers of different effects on my sample flips like occasionally i'll put you know different chorus plugins or rc20 or different stuff like that sometimes and then sometimes you don't need to do as much it's just whatever you need to do to get the vibe out you know it's like sometimes you got to do a lot to a sample to flip it and get it where you need chop it up and reverse stuff and pitch it crazy and other stuff and sometimes all you gotta do is this so that's gonna be the hook reverse that it's just like a little sort of transition sound to let you know we're building back up into the hook i think stuff like that's huge when it comes to arrangement no matter how good you flip the sample you obviously want to arrange it well as well if you're trying to get artists on it so just like that we have a fire beat if you guys enjoy make sure to like subscribe and check out elizabethrecords.net thanks for watching
head on over to elizabethrecords.net if you'd like to support me. You can purchase VST expansion banks, drum kits, loop kits, and mini kits that'll level up your production there.